Hey there! So, um, if you're using one shot to supplement your bottle feed, how does that affect your uh, microbial inoculants? I'm Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. Let's talk about it. So, in the last episode, we talked about uh, if you were using one shot in your grow and you were getting toward the end and you were getting real low PPM numbers, you're running out of nutrients. Instead of pushing super hard with your bottles to try and make that up, could you crush up some one shot to get a quicker release on that? And the answer was, yeah, you probably could do that. It's not as designed on the label, but it's a it, it's a strategy. But I asked the question right after that of how does that affect your microbial uh, you know inoculants that you put into your grow? And Scott started talking about that, but it was not the greatest question. It was just kind of he he went off from that little kind of a small question into the bigger picture of feed, 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 flush, and how microbial inoculants work in the bigger picture of a Nectar for the Gods Grow. And I thought it was pretty interesting, and I think you will too, so I'd like you to watch it, and I'll talk to you after. Yeah. So, okay, if I'm late in the game, I'm low on food, I can't get it fast enough with the one shot, I crush the one shot to do this, because I don't want to be bottle feeding myself into bankruptcy, yep. would I go more, less, or the same on my microbial regimen? to make the stuff happen in the soil. About the same. About the same. Well, because now you'd go back to feed feed with a tea in there because right. now you have a food for the microbes okay. to go after okay. where if you're teeing at 95, you're basically just going, here guys, starve. Here microbes, I'm gonna add a microbe day so they can starve. So you wouldn't cut out your microbes or go longer on them to any effect. You would just keep no. going with that and keep the thing no. right. I mean, the feed feed tea, feed feed flush concept is over microbial. I mean, yeah. we don't mind having too many microbes because the diversity sure. piece, they eat each other, they, uh -huh. the colonies are always changing. But, I mean, a good organic farmer isn't out there going, okay, well, today's the compost <laughs> microbe <laughs> day. You know, they're not yeah. doing that. They build their soils. All the microbes they have for the season are within their soils. Uh -huh. So they're feeding the microbes to maintain their populations throughout the entire grow season. Sure. Our industry is feed, feed, and then pump a bunch of microbes from all these yeah. different products. And, well, at 95 parts per million, we've overdone the microbes. They've eaten all the organic matter. Right. And we need to start building the food reserves for those microbes. So back off the microbes a little bit. So there is some entropy of like, I mean, because in theory, like the microbe eats something and then it poops and the plant eats the poop. Yeah, but well, you it, are losing nutrition by having an overactive microbial field around your plant. Well, they take out nuts. all the food source, yeah. and then they start eating each other, which is fine because they're made up of N, P, and K, uh, and sure. they release each other as food sources. But that's not a well balanced food source right. when this bacteria is eating this bacteria, which is eating this fungus. There's still no feather protein, but it's gone. So it's uh, okay, it's balancing. Sure. Inputs, microbial activity to eat those inputs, and if the inputs aren't there, stop putting the microbes there because you're not giving them a food to eat. What are we doing? So, yeah. And, and our bottles feed the plant, and the leftover feeds the microbes, but if your micro population is so heavy, Why? and you're only leaving 10% behind, they're, you're, they're making fast work of that, and yeah. you can't get ahead of building your PPM reserves in your soil oh, anymore. Okay. So I focus on just getting that two to 500 parts per million range back. Right. Uh -huh. And then go back to teeing again. Okay. Okay, what do you think of that? Informative, entertaining, helpful? Uh, did it bring up any questions? Any comments? Throw them in the comments. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. It's the OCG Fam Show.